Chavez, manager of Tally Farms Fresh Harvest. And today we're going to talk about pre-cooling your vegetables. Many produce items are boxed and palletized right in the fields. So, if we want that produce to last a long time, we need to pre-cool the produce. If we just put a pallet of produce in a cold room, only the outside of the boxes would get cold. There are four main types of pre-cooling, and different produce items like to be pre-cooled in different ways. Forced air cooling is where cold air is forced through those big holes in the wall. We line up the pallets on either side of those holes. Then we cover the top and back of the pallets. Finally, we turn the blower on. Cold air is circulated and it cools the vegetables down. Napa cabbage is very dense and it takes four to five hours to force air cool. A second way to pre-cool vegetables like cilantro, lettuce, and corn is to hydro-cool them. This is where ice cold water flows and recirculates through the boxes and pallets of vegetables. It also washes out extra dirt and soil. Vacuum cooling creates a vacuum inside a vacuum tube and sucks out all the heat. Vegetables that like to be vacuum cooled include Chinese Napa cabbage, spinach, iceberg lettuce, and cauliflower. It only takes Napa cabbage about 45 minutes to cool down when we vacuum cool it. Many produce items like broccoli, kale, and green onions like to be iced. Here at the Pismo Oceano Vegetable Exchange, pallets of broccoli are put into an ice machine. Liquid ice shoots through the holes in the boxes and solidifies around the broccoli. Pre-cooling your vegetables makes them last longer in your refrigerator. Thanks for watching.